Hey guys, today we are going to compare the Sony WH-1000XM5 to the Bose NC700. Now, I have been receiving comments that the Bose still is better in terms of ANC, call quality, and so on, while some others say that the Sonys are better. So today, we're going to settle this question once and for all. We're going to compare them by listening to some sample recordings, and I will be talking about what I prefer about the Bose, what I prefer about the Sonys, and ultimately, which one you should buy. I've split this video into chapters, so you can simply skip to the parts you're interested in. And guys, I will be making more comparisons like this one, so if you haven't already, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content from me. Let's start with comparing their call quality in both quiet and noisy conditions with some wind noise coming from this fan over here. I am now making a phone call in a quiet environment using the Bose NC700. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy environment using the Bose NC700. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WH-1000XM5. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WH-1000XM5. So the Bose is still as impressive as when I first tested it back in 2020. Beautiful background noise cancelling while retaining the clarity of my voice. However, the Sonys were able to deal with background noise better. Background was almost silent even with the wind noise. And it did amplify my voice louder than the Bose. Now, to be clear, you're not going to have any problems with the Bose when making phone calls, but if we were to nitpick, the Sonys are simply more advanced in this area. Next, we're going to compare the noise cancelling performance using the same cafe-style background noise as before. So, seems like the Sonys do cancel a little more noise. The difference is not significant, but you can sort of tell that it's reducing more mid-range noises than the Bose. This means that with the Sonys, you'll be hearing less human chatter in noisy, busy places. In terms of low frequency cancellation, they seem to be pretty similar. So if you're going on a flight, both are going to be just as effective at reducing the droning of the plane's engine. But what about sound quality? After repeated A to B comparisons, I feel that they both sound similar in terms of vocal reproduction. They've got the same level of clarity and richness there. However, I feel that the Bose is able to reproduce background details better, so details in the soundstage do sound brighter and clearer on the Bose than on the Sony's. So if you're listening to chamber music, you can distinguish the various instruments in the background better. It does sound darker than the Sony's in terms of treble. I think the Sony's easily sound more airy with more sizzle in percussion instruments. In terms of bass performance, the Sony's do have more volume and definition in the upper bass. So bass tracks punch a little tighter and bass heads get a little more satisfaction right there. A quick frequency sweep 
revealed that indeed their curves do closely resemble each other with the Sony's displaying a bit more gain in the upper base, lower mids and highs. The Bose does seem to have more gain in the sub bass frequencies but that is not something you can hear, only something that is felt if the recording contains tracks that hit that low in the first place. So if you're somebody who likes to listen for details in your music, the Bose might be better for that if you need more vibrance in your sound, better bass extension and impact, the Sonys are more suitable. One more thing I've discovered is that if the Sonys are at 50% volume, I've had to put the Bose at 60% to match the Sony's volume. So if you do need more loudness, the Sony's might be a better choice. So far, we can see that in terms of performance, the Sony's do perform better, whether it be in terms of noise cancelling or call quality. But we gotta bear in mind that the NC700 is not a recent product. It's been in the market for a couple of years, but that actually makes them all the more impressive because it took the Sony's two full generations to catch up with these and surpass it in these areas. And even so, there are some things that I do still prefer about the Bose. Its build quality feels more premium, even the headband extension feels firmer like there's some kind of hydraulics inside, whereas the Sony's mechanism feels more slippery, like it's more simple. And while you're not gonna get any lip sync delay, when watching videos with both models, if you're looking for headphones to game with, the Bose has lower Bluetooth latency. This means that you'll have a smoother gaming experience when gaming on your iPhone or your Android device or if you're just enjoying some real-time content. What you're about to see is these headphones latency in milliseconds after deducting the phone's hardware lag. So there are some things that I still prefer about the Bose. However, there are many reasons to pick the Sony's over the Bose. Its battery life is longer, up to 30 hours of playtime, compared to the Bose 20 hours. They've got a more gentle clamp, so they don't feel as tight on your head, which means better comfort for longer periods of wearing. This was actually one of my chief complaints about the Bose when it first came out. I felt that its clamping pressure was too firm for me, firmer than even the standard Bose headphones at the time, the Bose QC35. And the Sonys have many more customization options, like having more EQ settings, even a graphic EQ with more bands, which gives you broader leeway when customizing their sound. Speak to chat, which is a useful feature that automatically kicks in the ambient sound mode when you start speaking or exchanging words with somebody. The Sonys are also high res certified with the ability to upscale your sound using a feature called DSEE Extreme. And you can also stream your audio over a higher resolution LDAC audio codec, something that audiophiles will appreciate. If you take all of that, plus its noise cancelling and call performance, I have to say that the Sony WH-1000XM5 makes a far more compelling case than the Bose NC700. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments below and thanks for watching, smash like and share if you dig this video. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters as always. You can also join us on the world's most popular 
gaming chat app discord if you want to hang out or chat link is in the box down below click here to watch my review comparing the xm5s to its predecessor the wh 1000 xm4 or watch another video from this channel